What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We're back with the Boston Clinic and Gilbert Ramirez just stopped um, Khabib Hamed uh, in the sixth round. Technical stoppage is uh, Hamed corner through in the towel. And, um, you know, quick, you know, summary of the fight. You know, Khabib, you know, he was slipping, dipping, jiving and trying to box early. But Ramirez basically caught up to him. Ramirez was too big, too strong for um, a man and a man looked like he needed to belong in the same ring as this guy size wise and um, You know Ramirez just dominated him, you know <laughs> He's throwing looping uppercuts that shouldn't be thrown and he wouldn't get away with versus upper echelon competition He was beating the body beating his head um, You know Ramirez has to you know Ramirez has a high work rate um, And it was too high for he was just too strong and his work rate was too Strong and too high for a med, and a med just was overmatched. You could tell that the talent level gap was huge. It was his first fight outside of Ghana. Good experience for the brother. Um, he connected with us in one of the boxing groups, and we all wished him best best luck in his fight. But he didn't bring it home. But I think he's somebody that can continue to build. He gets some better sparring, get some better amenities around him. He could do do well in the future. But Ramirez stopped him, but. Think about it is, you know, Top Rank is putting on horrible cards. Um, you know, these fights was good tonight, but it was mismatch heaven. It was mismatch versus mismatch versus mismatch versus mismatch. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Jure, uh, uh, Jure, 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 the Juran guy. I can't remember his name. Juran. You know, he had a good fight with Gonzalez, and he was in the top 15, and this guy was in the top 15 as well. But this is mismatches that, you know... <laughs> Top rank putting on. Come on, man. You you gotta put on better fights than this, man. And Ramirez, he gotta fight somebody, man. He ain't fought nobody since he fought Arthur Abraham. I don't believe. And uh, you know, in my opinion, he got he gotta fight somebody, man. He gotta get him a, a Caleb Plant in there if he beat Medina, David Benavidez. Um, you know, he gotta get somebody in the winner of the World Boxing Super Six Tournament, which he said he won't mind fighting. I mean, you know, Bro, Ebanks, Callum Smith. I mean, he got to find somebody to fight. No, Jesse Hart, that was a good victory. But Jesse Hart was another guy similar to Ahmed that hadn't stepped up in competition. You know, he just stepped up all the way of a sudden, jumping up facing Gilbert to Ramirez. It was a good fight. But you could tell Hart didn't have that uh, that quality of opponents on his resume as, as far as, uh, you know, as well as Ahmed. And uh, like I said, man, top rank is putting on some shitty cards, man. You know, as far as, you know... You know, name versus name. You know, the 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 the, the Rigondale and Lomachenko fight stunk up the place. You know, this is a fight that we wanted to see. The Horn and Pacquiao fight was the best rating fight. Obviously, you got Pacquiao fighting on regular unpaid unpaid subscription, unpaid uh, pay per view TV. At the end of the day, I mean, you know, this is just mismatches. And people were happy because the fights are exciting and stuff of that nature. But just as you can make an exciting fight match wise, but you have to have those. 50-50s or those competitive fights, you know, a lot of their fights they be putting on don't be, you know, name fights, the fights the fans want to see, you know, not these 50-50 type fights, you know, we don't get that on top rank ESPN, you understand they just starting up, but still, you know, you guys complain about PBC in the beginning not giving you that, let's hear you guys complain about top rank and these shitty ass cars that they give me all, man, you know, this is guys they picking out from, you know, Kikistan and Ghana, that ain't never fought outside their country or fought outside their neighborhood. And they going to get these guys and putting them <laughs> on the main event. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Gilberto Zero Ramirez, he one of my guys. Um, do a video probably tomorrow. I'm talking about is he the best super middleweight. We can get into that. But, um, you know, shout out to Ahmed, man. Ahmed, you know, he held it down tonight. He tried his best. And I'm pretty sure that strong brother going to be back again. But uh, it was a good it was a good action pack fight cards today. They had on, but I wasn't. I wasn't impressed with the matchmaking and the, all that. My top rank, but we gone.